I am in Finley, Ohio with the EOF. We're at this beautiful facility, the Marathon Center for the Performing Arts. And the first night we were here, the Air Force Jazz Ensemble Band played. Tonight there's another concert, and we're going to keep the EOF open a little bit later because the Family Stone is playing. As a matter of fact, they're getting ready to sound check and kind of messing with their instruments right now, which you can probably hear in the background. Um, so it should be a fun night, and uh, I have no idea if they're going to come out and see the display or not, but of course they're always welcome to check it out. But yeah, this event has been very powerful. And uh, we're gonna keep going. We have another big event next week, so uh, check this out. So once again, Eyes of Freedom, we are in Finley, Ohio. Uh, we're here, this is our last day. We've been here for a week. And uh, what you hear in the, in the background is uh, the Family Stone performing and we just watched their sound check. The tour manager is a really, really cool dude. He's invited us to the show to put on a guest list and we're gonna meet the band. The founding member of this band still performs with him and Sly, uh, Sly's daughter, actually performs as well. We just listened to it, it sounded amazing. They're probably gonna come out and check out the display and just super, super cool folks. You guys sound pretty tight for oh, a sound Oh man, show. that sounded oh, amazing. It's the first time I used the inner ear stuff, you know? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. So yeah. look who I'm with, Mr. Jerry. Mar I'm doing video. Okay. So Jerry, Mr. Jerry Martini. Jerry Martini. Of uh, the Family Stone and you're, you're touring and, and you're young at heart. You sounded amazing at that. Uh, that sound check, so yes. we can't wait to see the show tonight. But thank you so much for coming here and checking and being, welcome to Finley, Ohio. Oh, I love Ohio. And then this guy right here, he's, he's an awesome dude as well, the Mr. Tour Manager here. <laughs> and uh, thanks for bringing yeah, him down. Thank you. Let's bring, some friend, bring some friends down tonight. We Absolutely. Got a, we got inducted in the Rocco Hall. That's what, I just read that. In 1993. So you're. They built it in 95, and we go there at least once or twice a year.
one, two, three, and we're going straight down here. All right, one, two, three, and up. And straight down. That's perfect. Jaden? Yep. All right, come here and hold this light. There I appreciate go. you guys helping with muscle, getting it up, set up and taken down. This is probably a record as far as takedown is concerned. One of our traditions from day one, we ask everybody that experiences the tribute to sign. We've left about 300 of these around the country, which is a really thing. We're proud of that. And uh, Heather, you're going to thank Bill and or Chuck and Chuck Bills and High Logistics and everybody. It was an awesome week. And, uh, we're really grateful, but I'm not going to give you a hug. I, I normally would, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. On behalf of the Eyes of Freedom team, all the guys and their families, I mean, it's a big deal that we're traveling, and we hope that finds a good home. And I got for Jaden, who's going to be green soon, <laughs> I've got your first challenge for him that's ever been presented to you. Maybe, maybe not, but that's from us to you. Good luck with what you're doing. Thank you. Kick some ass. You're the tomorrow in our mission statement. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good luck. Mike, uh, we're currently in Chicago on a layover before we hit our next destination. A bit on the road, but we haven't flown a whole lot the last couple of months other than my flights to Japan and stuff like that. So um, we're going to uh, have a great week. We're going to be here for a while. Not Chicago, but our next destination, right? We're going to be in an undisclosed location in Colorado for the next eight days. So <laughs> actually and the last time we were here at this exact spot we were waiting for the rental car shuttles forever it took forever they kept them going by empty so we went with another uh, rental car place so we'll see how long this takes hopefully not too long ready yeah this is so were weird the Irish one? Happy birthday? it's no, actually they, not no right. this is no, what she sang to me on the day okay. Okay. so I'm, I'm with Anita and Robin Gretchen and Mike we're in uh, Lyons Colorado and um, they oh my birthday. Oh, well, Sean's can... 48th birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. September they 21st. Me, they made Best day ever. 2019. A great age to be, absolutely. 48 years of age. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday, birthday. we love you. Da, da, da. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Sean. Yay! Well done. You know, well I, you know what I wish for? <laughs> that this never happens again. <laughs> for mental health and suicide awareness and, and caring. 
and uh, so we can't be more happy about being able to be at the right place. Uh, this is the place where all of that healing takes place and so to be able to be a part of that here and to assist them with their mission, it, it's just, it's a perfect blend. The Eyes of Freedom Memorial couldn't be happier to be here at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We're so glad to be working with the VA. Uh, and not only are we working with the VA this week, uh, but we've been able to meet all of the wonderful people within the VA's behavioral health. That's the dream sound. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do it. All right. Oh, well, say goodbye to that thing. And you index. go up with huh? the index and down with your thumbs. That's it, yep. All right, I gotta practice. I missed the last chord. That's perfect. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening here? We're in a wind storm or something. Or we're in a sand storm. I or think something. it's just picking up from these piles here. Yeah, maybe so. On the side of the freeway. Oh, crap. All we are is dust in the wind. <laughs> yeah. So now we are true. We are in. That's called the Front Range. This is the foothills of the Rockies. So Wonder look at. We're starting to be we are, Yep. That is. And so the one that we said was Beaker. Yes. You can see how they're separate. Right. Right. It's that one on the left.
I am in Michigan now with Steve, and apparently this is called the Golden Bubble. Uh, how much do they spend on that? Like 600 grand. There it is. Or so. Um, we're doing a spontaneous trip to another country tomorrow, but uh, Steve suggested we hit up a park I have never been to with a couple credits, but one of them I've already written. One of them I haven't. Wait until you see this thing. And we have reached CJ Barrymore's. That ride that's up there. Right, we're going to ride that hopefully with some luck. And here we are. We made it to CJ Barrymore's. Like I said, new park. Oh, and one other thing. It's closed. It doesn't open till tomorrow. And we're going to be on the road. First missed credit of the trip, but just another reason to come back up here when they uh, add the uh, Gravity Group wooden coaster with two inversions. And if you believe that, don't. That's a, that's a big show right there, buddy. Who will you be? Well, the bus, that's, that's a bigger... Four buses. That's a, that's a big tour because the buses are all numbered. We are about to enter Canada. I have not been to Canada since 2005, May to be exact. Technically, this is my second international trip of the year, even though it's driving. And Steve and I just saw a series of tour buses we suspect are for a band with a large production. And we've looked online to see if we can figure out who it is. And there's a couple instances where we think we know who it is, but we don't know who the, <laughs> who the artist is, if that makes sense. Oh, can. All right, we just made a quick stop. Had a meal at A and W. It was tasty. Veggie burgers were awesome. By process of elimination, Steve and I think we figured out who the buses belong to. Von Ivers or something. They have like nine band members or something. We think that's who it is. We've been playing um, leapfrog with them on the road. I'm sure they've passed us already, but we're gonna catch up to them again. But we're we're not that far from our. Uh, location so um this is gonna be an awesome trip well we made it to our hotel i can see the cn tower it's really far away steve and i are going to go downtown explore toronto go to record stores and whatever else can get us in trouble <laughs> thinking about this on the way here I have not been downtown Toronto in 40 years and it's great to finally see something that used to be the world's tallest structure when I was in Japan this year and I tried to go up to the Tokyo sky tree it was uh, in clouds so we didn't go up in there and we're not gonna go into CN Tower today the smallest track my Run feet away. are bigger than the width oh, it sucks about this camera nothing So that's the queue, if you can see that, that's the queue to buy tickets. Yeah, we're not gonna go up there. Steve and I were thinking about doing the 
the walk on the outside of the tower, but it's $200 and we'd rather ride roller coasters right now. I'm sure it's amazing. They must have some damn good coffee in there. Still downtown Toronto, just walking around. Went to a very, very cool record store, Sonic Boom. Well, Steve, Steve and I are on Center Island. As Steve said, is there anything more Canadian than that? Moose out front should have told us, but the amusement park on the island is closed. No, we didn't come here for the amusement park. We knew it was closed, but still. So I guess the next big question is, would you count this as a park visit even though the park is closed? Yeah, we're walking through an amusement park that is closed. It's part of the island, but it's just so odd walking through this park and literally no one's here. Yeah, these lockers have seen better days. All right, I'm gonna get in this queue to ride nothing. It's a miler coaster. It came from a Jeepers, I believe. I don't think I've ridden this one. I think it came from Maryland or something. Regardless, it's a coaster. What a pisser. Goose crap on the chain. 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 It's a scrambler. This is the conveyor belt for the lift of the flume. It's got seat belts. So our time at this island um, is going well. It has one of the best views you can get. Awesome. I don't, I don't want it to change during the picture. Well, that's the problem. It's going to keep changing. Well, I got it red with you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. There's hundreds of people running. Canadians. Steve and I 
I made it to Canada's Wonderland and it's a balmy 15 degrees. What the hell are we doing at Canada's Wonderland 15 degrees, you might ask? Well, that's Celsius. And there's four credits for me here. I have not been here since 2005. I'm glad we got fast lane. Oh, we didn't. Why? There's no one here. We're the first people in line for Yukon Striker, and we didn't run. All right, so just took my first ride on Yukon Striker. It was well worth the trip up here to ride. Awesome, awesome ride. We're gonna go again. So uh, here we go. Guardian Mountain. The second credit I needed this park out of four. Hardly any weight. This is awesome. Man, a busy, busy day. So we have done three on Yukon Striker. Big, big, big surprise. Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland really, really, really surprised me. Wasn't expecting that. Favorite ride by far of the day. Awesome. And now, um, this used to be called Italian Job, now it's Backlot Stunt Coaster. And interestingly enough, it does not stop in the mid-course scene thing. We're gonna give this a try. And uh, we're knocking out this park, right? All right, against my better judgment, we're gonna ride Mighty Canadian Mindbuster. Last time I rode this in 2005, it was not a pleasant ride, but we're gonna do it. And here is Steven. Bar, what's your YouTube channel? Um, I actually don't have a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Um, but I do have a Facebook, though. <laughs> All right, so Steven and I are riding he, his suggestion, so we'll see, but he wrote, what did we write? Uh, Mighty Canadian Bu Mind Buster was not that bad. So I'm assuming this isn't gonna be that bad, but we have to support the arrow loopers because they're going away very rapidly. So we're gonna ride this one. This one I think is here to say, here to say though. It is, you think? I think so. Okay, he says it's here to say. That's a cool image. Guardian Mountain. Yes, I counted this as a coaster. Yes, that is not a still, it is stopped. right there for some reason.
part two of our day here at Canada's Wonderland. So they make everybody leave the park. We're coming back for the haunt uh, festivities. Festivities? Is that how you say it? Anyway. And the sun is gorgeous. So um, we left the park before five. We're heading back in to do the haunt stuff. Had a great day. We took four rides, I think, on Leviathan, a couple on Behemoth, four on Yukon Striker. I mean, the lines were non-existent. Uh, Steve and I did wait a long time for our last ride on Leviathan. Wow, God, how long was that? At least 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes, a whole 10 minutes. The best day I've ever had at this park. It was cool hanging out with Steven and spending some time getting some uh, shots, even though it was cloudy until, of course, the last five minutes when we were putting our cameras away. But it's gorgeous now. We're going to have a great evening, so join us for the ride. Here we go. It is dark now, and Steve and I have done how many? Five? Five out of the nine mazes, I guess you could say. And I will be honest, um, I don't get scared by these things. Quite honestly, I mean, out of the five we've done so far, they just haven't done much for me. I try to be positive when it comes to stuff like uh, these haunts and all these haunted houses stuff, but so far on like a psychological level these are pretty much pretty tame anybody could do these i think so we still have some to do so maybe we'll be surprised but update in a minute so it is now eight o'clock okay we have done seven of the nine haunts in an hour less than an hour so we're taking a break from the haunts and we're going to do uh leviathan here and then head to the back to do the other two, probably write a couple things and then split, because we have a very, very long day of travel tomorrow. Well, Steve only has four hours, but I have eight hours, but yeah, here we go. We just took a night ride on Leviathan, running so good. The ride's grown on me for sure. Uh, it's definitely an okay ride. I don't like to complain about rides, but it is very short. Uh, as far as like gigas go, I guess. We're, we have two haunts left, and we're gonna do them really quick, so let's go. Hi! All right, you can't see anything really, <laughs> but Steve and I are walking to the final haunt. The thing about these haunts is they're like connected. You do one and it bleeds right into another one, uh, which is strange. So it's been an hour and a half and we're doing our last haunt. That last one, we actually beat fast lane people in, in it. That's how dead it is at this park. We're gonna do this last one and maybe do some riding, but we definitely will not be here until midnight. All right, we just finished Corn Stalkers, the last one, and it was by far the worst one. Um, it just didn't do anything. That's the problem. There's a lot of missed opportunities here. But if you're afraid of these haunted things, at least for Steve and I, <laughs> they're not scary <laughs> at all. Theming in some of them is decent, but they're just, I don't know what I was expecting, and I don't know what Steve was expecting, but uh, I don't know. They just didn't do it for us. But we're going to uh, go ride... Um, a coaster or two. Conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death. All right, So one of the cool things about this coaster is they have this bin system that's uh, suspended from a track and you put them on the far side over there and then they make their way over the station back over here. Very uh, awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing this on Orion and Tyrant. Well that does it for our time at 
Canada's Wonderland. Steve and I did all the haunts in record time. We probably could have spent more time riding the coasters. Uh, even though we didn't wait at all for any of the haunts, even without a fright lane or whatever that's called. Coasters at night were awesome, and I enjoy this park. We're heading out, so here we go. So I hope you're enjoying this Massive Vlog. Before we continue into another travel aspect of the Massive Vlog, uh, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you some of the vinyl I have been collecting. For those of you that have been watching this series for a while, um, you may understand that I like to collect vinyl. I started getting back into vinyl records um, about a year and a half ago at the time of this recording. And I'll be honest, I haven't purchased maybe one digital album and a couple songs since I've gone to vinyl, which in my opinion is the ultimate physical media. So needless to say, I was quite surprised when I went to one of my favorite record stores in the world and was told that Typo Negative was releasing all of their Roadrunner era uh, albums on vinyl, which they did a while back, but this is that was way before I was in vinyl. I'm very, very happy that I got one of the None More Negative box sets. This is this is a collection of six albums, and the one that I was the most excited about listening to on vinyl for the first time, Typo Negative's classic album. I believe this came out in 96, maybe? If you've not listened to this, you are depriving yourself of something really special. Uh, the best two words I could describe is heavy and lush, but this is a masterpiece. I love all of the Typo albums on vinyl but this one's extra special. 
since we're on the typo negative discussion right now, I went online and purchased the last album by Typo Negative Dead Again. This was on a different label, so therefore it's not in the box set. But this was the last album uh, they released before Peter Steele, um, his timely passing. The box set contains albums released on green vinyl. And for some reason, the description when I bought Dead Again Online didn't say it was green vinyl. It's green translucent. Um, nice surprise. I also picked up a copy of Life of Agony's the Sound of Scars. This is another fantastic record. This is more or less the sequel to Life of Agony's River Runs Red album, which came out in 93, I believe. The band has had a lot of ups and downs in its history. Um, Joey Z, who's right here, uh, is a friend of mine, actually. I met him in 94 when they were opening for Typo Negative. He's a good dude, and you should listen to this album, and definitely check out their 93 uh, River Runs Red album. Another box set I got was Stephen Wilson, Home Invasion. This is a live concert. Um, there's a Blu-ray that looks and sounds amazing as well, but this is the vinyl version. This has 10 sides to it, so it's quite a long show. Sounds amazing. Huge, huge Stephen Wilson fan and Porcupine Tree fan. And if you are a fan of live music and love Steven's work and you don't have this yet, do yourself a favor and either pick up the vinyl, the Blu-ray version, um, I think there's an MP3 version. Devin Townsend Empath. Massive, massive, massive Devin fan. This is his latest album. Um, about a year ago, I saw Devin Townsend live. I've seen him live dozens of times, but here in Columbus, he played New Year's Eve opening for Clutch. I went to that show. If you look at one of the massive logs from around that time, you'll see what I'm talking about. But little did I know, and no one really knew at that time, that that would be Devin Townsend Project's final show. But he disbanded Devin Townsend Project and started more on his own uh, solo stuff. And this is a result of a lot of hard work. This album is insane. It goes in so many different places. Some of the most extreme music I've ever heard is on this album, and some of the most relaxing I've ever heard, heard him put out is on the same album. So do yourself a favor, check this out. And finally, I have another box set, and it is Devin Townsend's Iris, the fourth in the set. First time Devin's released any of this stuff on vinyl. Now personally speaking, I was super excited when I saw that Z2 Dark Matters, the concept album, was going to be on here because when Devin was making this album he reached out to fans and said hey why don't my fans contribute vocals so everybody that wanted to do that was sent some uh, kind of rough tracks to base vocals on they were given the lyrics and told to sing over that and I was one of those people that did that so when the album came out the songs I did backgrounds vocals for obviously I was already familiar with parts of those tracks but hearing the finished pro product was awesome Dimension Z on this album, the last track, is actually the one where the majority of fan vocals are in. It almost sounds like you're standing in an arena and everybody is singing at the same time, the same verses and everything. Now every Devin Townsend box set has come with this amazing booklet of backstories and just technical stuff. I read every bit of any, anything that's in these books, it's amazing. I turn the page and I see the Universal Choir. These are all the vocalists that contributed vocals that are on the album. Including yours truly. I was quite surprised to see my name, but there it is. So there you go. Uh, if there's any vinyl fans in here, and I know there's a few like Rob from Boston, comment down below on what your favorite finds have been recently and uh, if you have the same items I have here. All right, um, this next segment I recorded at the 2019 Circleville Pumpkin Show. For those of you in Central Ohio, the pumpkin show is well known. It's the biggest pumpkin show in the world, I believe. And the Eyes of Freedom was, once again, very happy to be there for our fifth year in a row. If you have no idea what to expect from this show, here's what you can expect.
I want to present to the eyes of freedom the key that unlocks the pumpkin shell. There's only one other one like it, and the great pumpkin has that. So, Mike. <laughs> So here we are at the Pumpkin Show 2019, our fifth year here with the EOF, and look who is in here. Mr. Jason Wagner. Hello. The other half of me. Old friend of Eyes of Freedom. The other half of me, Cave. <laughs> Actually, there's three of us, but, and there's Milo. Say hi, Milo. What's up? He just farted on me too. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're having fun and I see Jason. This is pretty much all I can see of Jason. He always invites me to concerts and I can never go because I'm always on the road with this, but here he is. All right, so I am on the OSU campus getting ready to go to I think my first premiere of a movie now I've done premieres on YouTube and stuff like that but this is a an actual movie premiere from my friend and fellow enthusiast Tommy Faircloth and Tommy I met Tommy at a uh, marathon coaster marathon at Six Flags Over Georgia uh, many years ago I'll put a link to the description of the video that YouTube user John and a half did yeah it's gonna be a fun night 
I'm gonna see Tommy's new horror movie and uh, we're gonna go from there. So Tommy is here, he has already texted me. So this will be pretty cool. All right, so I walk into the theater, which I've never been here. I hear my name, and it's Mr. Tommy Faircloth from the balcony above. You haven't seen Tommy in my videos in years, years, years. years. I think the last time I actually hung out with him, correct me if I'm wrong, was Six Flags Over Georgia Goliath Media Day. Where have I seen you? No, I saw you with Carowinds for... Oh, okay. Here? So Intimidator, Intimidator's Media Day, uh, 2010. Yeah, yeah, so I haven't yeah. seen this dude in nine years. And I'm proud of him. He's debuting a movie here. You got to check out his movies. I'll put links in the description for that. Sweet. So, yeah. welcome to Ohio. Finally, so I guess I've come to one of my premieres. This is the second yep. one I've had in Ohio. Uh, he'll be going. Are you still going to Kings Island Sunday? Oh, yeah. He's going to Kings Island Sunday last for day. Texas Last Day. So, yeah. all right, let's check out this movie. But we're nominated for at this festival. We're, my uh, One of my actresses is nominated for Best Actress. Wow. Well, getting ready to watch the world premiere right. of. A nun's curse. And Robbie yeah. is Tommy's husband and producer yeah. of the film. That's right. He, uh, he also did all the, uh, he records all the audio. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I didn't know that either. So that means he pretty much is at every single scene, you know, everything that we shoot, he's there. And then once he saw a rough edit of the film, he goes, oh, I didn't even know that's how that happened. It's hard to put it together. Because, you know, he's all zoned out halfway through the shoot. Because, sure. you know, you get exhausted. Well, um, thanks again for letting me know about this. This is going to be awesome, and I can't wait to see well, it. thanks for coming, yeah, Sean. Right. You're welcome, <laughs> and we're going to have fun. And we'll King's see you at King's Island. Yep. King's Island. Yep. Well, Tommy, you watched your world premiere. I know. You can't see it. Um, actually, this story was going to be about a warden. And we had a jail we wanted to shoot at in Beaufort, South Carolina. And we we're kind of mixing in some true stories, like with the voodoo and things that go on there. But we lost the location. Excuse me. And so the film office, which you saw the logo, they helped me find this new jail in Orangeburg. And when I saw the stained glass window in it, I decided to change it to a nun. A script and them reacting in the moment. Because they both, yes. don't get me wrong, everyone's slave, but those two males like really got the comedic moments and delivery of what you were asking and they did a phenomenal job. Gunner, the, the big guy with the jean jacket. Yeah, I worked thank with you. Him before. He was so amazing. Yeah, he's he's great. He was in a, a film I did called Dollface and he's hilarious. And so um, the other guy was Damien Maffei, which some of you guys may know. He played, uh, he was the guy with the mask in The Strangers uh, oh. new movie. You may recognize his eyes. He's, and um, he's also uh, in that new movie that's out right now, Haunt. He's the devil face. He, he's getting all these jobs with masks. He actually just shot the Wrong Turn reboot. They filmed here in Ohio. Oh, yeah. We're happy, but this I is fairly not, close to where we're from. We're about 220 miles from home. So oh, like wow. Nothing else you came along with. So yeah. the premiere is over. Uh, successfully watched A Nun's Curse. It was awesome. Just it looks gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous. It was my first movie premiere. And uh, Tommy's signing autographs right over there, so. Uh. Today is an interesting day. Not only is it the official closing day at Kings Island, but it is Vortex's last day. After 33 seasons, they are retiring this. So all bad things must come to an end, but I'm still gonna write it. <laughs> so here we go.
see it without it. I know, I, and this, I've been to this park long enough to know what it looks like without it. I have not. I have not. Yeah, no. It's been here basically <laughs> since we've been coming. Well, enjoy. Is this, is this going to be your last ride? No. no. Okay. You're going to be riding it several. We're, we're riding a couple times. <laughs> but I will say this. The last ride I took on this, the best ride I had in Yankers. <laughs> Hooper, who came up to me. Thanks. Uh, you wanted a picture. Thank you for that, buddy. So, what, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Hang Time Thrills on YouTube. Hang Time Thrills, I subscribe to you. And everybody that's watching this, you need to subscribe also. All right, thank you. Yep, thank you. Hello. Hey what do you guys think? It's great. This was its first, first and, and last, last ride. ride. Well, you know what? I'll tell you honestly, I had a better ride on it now, just now, no, than I have. I'll just tell him it's not that bad. What's up, buddy? What's going on? How you doing, man? I haven't seen you since uh, LAX. How you guys doing? Good. Look at this line. That's fine. Look at that. Uh, we <laughs> ran into Marty here, who has seen the videos for Japan. He's from New Zealand. Yeah. And he came here specifically for Vortex's last day. Yeah, it was so, awesome. Probably want to do it a few more times today. Did it on Friday night as well. Uh, really good, yeah. You were the first person I've ever met from New Zealand. Actually, no, I take that back. Where was our friend that we met in Japan? No, Australia. Australia. Oh, from right, Tas yeah. Tas Tasmania. Tasmania, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did this in Japan, yeah. and we're going to do it now. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, rise up lights. <laughs> it's different. It's different. Yeah. It's well, different because you have the accent. Yeah, so if, you say, if I say rise up lights, it sounds like I. Razor blades. It sounds like I think razor blades, but in an um, Australian. Yeah, say, oh, it really? say it again. Uh, rise up lights. Say the words yeah, yeah, rise, say up rise up lights. <laughs> rise, rise up lights. Rise up lights. Yeah. Say it quicker. Rise up lights. See? <laughs> it does. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you guys, too. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? No, no. Oh, okay. So we are continuing our day. Um, I should have mentioned I took an excellent ride on Mystic Timbers uh, first thing this morning. And then went over to Vortex and got what could be my final ride. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it was amazing. I can't believe I'm saying that in the same, sen the same sentence as Vortex. But it wasn't offensive. I had no headbanging. Best ride I've had on it in 20 years, easily. Look who joined us. Mr. Kyle. Well, you changed your YouTube to, what is it now? Uh, it's Thomas Kyle Creative. Uh, I guess people want me to start creating a brand because uh, I'm going to take a lot of pictures and photos and a lot of resume stuff. So hopefully you get a good job in the future. So a PR job. So. I'm sure you will. <laughs> so. 
So look who it is. How's it going? Mr. Two, two YouTube channels. I always yeah. know that from you. Yeah. So uh, I never update anymore. you work here now. Yes, I do. How do you like living in Ohio? I, I really like it, actually. I mean, you know, this, this park has been a second home for me for so many years. So I figure a logical next step would just be to work here, you know? here brought a 1987 Vortex opening year yep. map. Yeah, it's been sitting in my basement, so I was glad, like, pay tribute, you know, bring it up. Get that, get that intro back in Bob for the first time, and Bob is a new YouTuber, I guess you could say? Is that yeah, what you said? Yeah, new YouTuber. So how do they find your channel? Do you have anything on uh, it? It's Bob's underscore coaster experience. Okay. Well, please check him out. I'll, I'll make sure your uh, thing's in the lower third right here. But awesome. Nice to meet you. You've, you've chimed in a couple times, and so nice to finally meet you. And this is your home park. Uh, yeah, I live about 20 minutes away up near Dayton. Nice. Very yeah. cool. All right. I haven't seen her in been, years. Yeah, it's been a couple years. And you're a mom now with two kids. Yeah, I don't know how that And happened. you're here at Kings Island. As always, I should have guessed. <laughs> Vortex's last day. Well, nice to see you. Yes, it's nice to see you. Marty from New Zealand. Just met Logan from Coaster Kids. Yep. And he's from, uh, he's, he's li literally leaving right now to go home. In an hour, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice shirt. Who made that shirt? So Andrew, do you have a YouTube channel? Um, I do not have a YouTube channel, but I am going to be starting. Okay. I have a vlogging channel I used to do, but Connor Ingles, it's pretty abandoned by now. <laughs> okay. Stuff, it's not going away. I'm gonna get dizzy. I'm gonna get dizzy, dude. <laughs> you feeling me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> right. Welcome to Ohio. It is fall. We have three hours left, Kyle. It went by quick, did it not? Yeah, it's... Kyle's, uh, Kyle has a fork in him because he's done. <laughs> I think we all are. It just, I, I, I'm so sad that it's really just taking a toll on me. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Did you take your ride? Uh, I'm getting ready to have coffee. I'm not even kidding. I had the best ride I had on in 20 years today. Really? Yep. That line is insane. Uh, it's the longest line of years. Oh. So who are you? Wow. And what did you just ride? Vortex. On its last day. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. You it did? Awesome. I like, like it. She thought it was her favorite ride. And, and this is Homer Broad. I want a loopy. 
And Josh. Oh, and just and me. Josh. Just Josh. Just okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. No worries. I'm just Josh. But now, like, I'm serious. I want to go to Old Georgia. I miss that sports star. What, what do you think will be put on this spot? Well, there's a Mini Cooper ride right across the uh, midway over there, you know, so car theme. There's anti cars right over there, car theme. I think it's going to be a, a BMW themed ride. What? Are you going to miss this ride? Absolutely. You know, this is the first ride that got me over my fears of roller coasters. Kind of started the trend of me loving that, having that passion for the amusement industry. Uh, so I was scared to, but once I conquered those uh, loops, I felt the grip and I absolutely love it. My name is Ted Adams. Ted Adams. Ted. Thanks for uh, watching, and you have a channel too, right? I do, yeah. It's and We're just starting right now, so we're getting videos put up this weekend, from this weekend, from Haunt and uh, today. Yeah, it's Kentuckiana Coasters, like the combination of Kentucky and Indiana. Okay. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Sean, I love Thank you. I watch all your series, and yeah, absolutely. Aww. Thank you. Super good. So this is Charles. So he runs the Coaster Fanatic YouTube page, so check him out. Uh, you're here, and you're from Virginia? I am, I'm from the D.C. area of Virginia. So did you come here to say goodbye to Vortex? I had to, I had to pay my respects. The, the only time I ever rode this was one time, it was four years ago. And at age 15, I didn't really have fond memories of this ride. No, at I age don't. 15, I, I was in that state of mind, and I, I honestly consider this the worst arrow for the longest time, so I rode it again today. It's changed. It may not be my personal favorite arrow, but there's so much history to it, and it's completely different than what I remember it as a 15 year old, which I'm glad. I needed to get a ride because I needed to relive history on this, because this is history. Absolutely, there it is. <laughs> that was perfect timing. This is Matt. He's new to the All vlog. Right. You weren't, I don't think you were in my Hollywood Nights one. No, so. This is the last how much in Vortex's life for the 14 GP? 14 minutes. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Okay, so admittedly when the announcement first happened, it was really kind of hard because this coaster has sentimental value and I've had some of my best experiences with friends on this ride. Um, but. I've moved to the place where I'm kind of, I'm happy, and this is why I'm happy. I'm happy because we got nearly an extra decade with this ride in comparison to some of the other aero loopers that went by the wayside, such as Shockwave, Great American Screen Machine. So, I mean, hey, we got an extra decade out of it. So, I mean, kudos to Kings Island, kudos to aero building stuff that's really well built. So, yeah. Sad, yeah. but it's all good. Yeah, that yeah. means the future, right? Yes. He said we had an extra decade of it. Uh, sad to see another uh, Ron Zoomer uh, legacy uh, go away. It's a great coaster. Kyle, it's down to its last like 13 or 12 minutes. It's it's really sad because the sun is setting. It's a beautiful day, and uh, it's a perfect way to send off. You know, a lot of memories. This thing is getting the send off it deserves, and like, I'm happy for that. Yes, absolutely. I'll definitely miss it. Um, you know, it was only the second upside down coaster I ever rode. 
and uh, I'll, I'll, more than anything, I'll miss the sights and sounds of this ride. You know, the sound of the Earl Lift Hill, watching the train scream through the six inversions on the midway. It's just such a beautiful ride. I'll miss that really a lot. All right, and you too? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it too. I rode it five years ago for the first time. I hated it. Throughout the years, I kind of started to grow on me, and now I, I love it. It's my favorite steel coach from the park. Oh, wow. I like it more than Diamondback. I'm weird, I know. No, that's not weird. That's cool. <laughs> they don't make coaches like this anymore with awful transitions. Nope. Everything else feels very predictable, so it's, it's sad to see it go. So I just met these guys. It's Michael, and what's, what's your guys' name? I'm Christian. Christian? And that's Gary. Gary, and are you guys YouTubers as well? Uh, we run a small channel. It's got like maybe 20 subscribers. What's your channel? Uh, Queen City Coasters. Queen City Coasters. I'll be sure to list it on here. I've been watching your live streams on the Japan trip. They're really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was a fun trip, man. I, uh, I just saw Chad from OVC for the first time since the trip today. So, awesome. thank you guys. So this is Don, Mr. Don, longtime friend. And uh, he just told me he rode this 33 times on opening day or media day? It was media day back in uh, April, it was April 9th, uh, 1987. I remember riding it 33 times on media day. Uh, a lot of fun memories uh, from that day, but also throughout the, rest, uh, the other 33 seasons of the ride. Awesome, thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Right here, no one else is I'm sorry, you guys. All of you guys gotta go back. I'm sorry. We were told to cut this line at 7 o'clock, it's now 7. And that is the end. This is the line for Vortex. The end. I'm not going to be here for the last train, but I think you guys are, correct? Yeah, I know we will. Okay. Well, enjoy it. It was a perfect day. I mean, this sky still looks gorgeous. And, uh,. Thanks for riding. Rest in peace. Yep. Rest in peace. What'd you, how many did you guys get up on this? Oh, we didn't count, but we got past lane just to ride it more. I'm sure you did. You didn't count? Uh, here we go again. And there you go, another massive log. Congratulations to anyone that has watched this from the very beginning. This is by far the longest vlog I've ever put together. And while I did enjoy editing this vlog, I'm not quite sure what the future holds as far as having another vlog uh, this long or even longer. Uh, only time will tell. And if you do not subscribe to the YouTube channel Coaster Kids, then you're probably not aware that Coaster Kids it has turned into a nonprofit organization 
to help kids uh, deal with fear, you know, and not be scared and the be brave and write on message is still there. It's just going to be taken in a different way. So Coaster Dad, Jeff and Logan and the entire team of Coaster Kids are now called Thrills United. If you have not checked out that channel and subscribed to them, please do. I'm very excited to see what Logan and all the reporters do. Uh, the very first video they uploaded was um, a 240 foot bungee jump off a bridge. And it's awesome, you have to check that video out and everything else they do. Ironically, uh, the first or second video um, I think I ever uploaded on YouTube was a bungee jump video in uh, Las Vegas. Also, if you would like to learn more about the Eyes of Freedom, uh, please check eyesoffreedom.org. We also have a Facebook, and uh, we have a couple other social media um, avenues that we're working on. But yeah, please check us out. And I can't thank you enough for checking out these videos. Um, several people come up and, and just say hello, they introduce themselves, which you've seen from these videos. I, it's never expected, but I always appreciate when uh, people come up and say hello. And that wraps up this massive log. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Until then, please be safe, and I will see you in the next massive log.